Hey there everyone. In this video, I'm going to be uh, putting a heat sink in my greenhouse here uh, by storing solar energy using thermal mass. Uh, thermal mass is any material that stores um, solar energy or thermal energy. Um, most items hold it. Uh, water holds about twice as much as concrete and about four times as much as the ground here. I'm going to be using 32 gallon trash cans filled with water in my greenhouse in order to absorb the heat from the sun during the day and then release it at night uh, basically bringing the temperature up inside my greenhouse it's not going to be a cure-all it doesn't like make it 70 degrees in here when it's 30 degrees outside but my goal because we only get into the upper 20s usually in the winter for a low uh, my goal is to keep my plants from freezing, especially in the spring when I start doing my starts for the farmer's market. So, let's get to it. I have my four 32-gallon trash cans here. Uh, they're black. Uh, they need to be black because that way the sun will, um, the sun's energy will absorb into them a lot better than like a lighter color like blue or even a lighter green. Black's the best color because it likes to absorb the heat from the sun. Well, I'm putting four 42 gallon trash bags, and these are industrial trash bags, or uh, con uh, what do you call it? Uh, contractor trash bags, the 42 gallon uh, contractor trash bags, into the 32 gallon trash cans. And what that does is just in case I have a leak, uh, it won't uh, drain everything out because it'll have an extra liner on there. I will have to uh, bleed out some of the air that's going to fill in, on the trash uh, trash bags when I start filling up with water. I'm going to try to knock out the water uh, before it gets dark tonight. And that way tomorrow, we're supposed to have our first freeze, uh, hard freeze tonight. We had a little bit of a frost yesterday, but we're supposed to have a hard freeze uh, tonight. Uh, supposed to get down into the upper 20s and then we're going to have sun all day so the sun's going to be able to charge these things up with some heat and then tomorrow night even if it tries to get cold uh, we're going to see what the temperature's like on it when the uh, uh, tanks or the trash cans let out some heat energy so stay tuned The one thing I want to get done tonight is I want to get it done so I can put away my flexilla hoses for the winter. Um, it's supposed to freeze tonight. Might have a few uh, really hard freezes coming up. So one thing I'd recommend that you put a little bit of bleach in here. If you're using fresh water like I am from my well, then you can save this uh, fresh water, keep the microbes from building up into it, just needs a little shot of bleach, and uh, you're good to go. Um, wanted to get this done uh, now, that way uh, I can put away my nice flexilla hose that I bought, out, bought this year and uh, test it on, online. And I still love the thing. But we'll get these filled up, uh, let them heat up tomorrow. I'm also going to be putting in the... Uh, racks for some kitty litter water storage so I can get even more heat sink out of this thing. I want to see how well I can get this thing heated. Alright, so without any uh, anything in there, it did keep it two degrees warmer. We actually did not get a good frost last night, which was surprising. But still, we got to get this uh, set up so it will take the frost. So we got about two degrees without the heat sink uh, all warmed up. I did fill up the barrels last night. Hopefully the sun will heat up the barrels tonight, today. And then tomorrow morning we'll see what the heat sink does to it. So I've been spray painting my uh, water jugs here. And I'm also getting ready to put together my uh, uh, shelf for the uh, kitty litter containers. I have 8 inch pieces of wood here. That I'm going to be putting in between for the shelving for support. 
and I'm getting ready to knock it out and I'll show you in some high speed. Sport bracket in. And I'm using sport brackets because there's going to be a lot of weight uh, coming down on this from the water that's going to be up on top. It's not going to be just like having your uh, plants uh, sitting there on the water. I mean, the plants just, it's not going to be like just having your plants sitting there on the shelf. It's actually going to be water weight. Now that I have my shelves in, and this is sturdy, very sturdy. I can go and put in my uh, water uh, tanks, my water containers, kitty litter containers. And uh, fill them with water. So for the kitty litter containers, I figured I'm going to fill them up using my rain collection tank. See, now I have about 300 gallons in this thing right now. And rain's going to come again. Bring you in a little bit. All right, so I have my kitty litter containers here. These are about Oh, four gallons worth of water in here, maybe three and a half. And then I have my 32 gallon uh, trash cans here full of water. Uh, sun's going to be picking up the water coming in, heating up these things at night. Should be giving it out a little bit. So I'll be keeping an eye on it tonight, maybe getting a couple videos of the temperature change between outside and inside, inside the greenhouse, and uh, see how it works. Should work pretty good. I've done it before in my other greenhouses. I did a couple videos on it. It's 7 o'clock at night. Outside temperature is 47 degrees. Uh, greenhouse temperature is 57 degrees. Alright, it's 9 o'clock at night. You can hear the dog barking in the background. Um, 9 o'clock at night is 50 inside the greenhouse and 41 outside. Let's see how we're doing this morning. It is 5.30 in the morning. Temperature outside is 36 degrees. Temperature inside the greenhouse is 42 degrees. This thing is working just like it's supposed to. Alright, well, got it all done. Moved some plants in here. Added a couple of kitty litter containers here. They'll hold even more uh, heat. Over here, my 55 or my excuse me, my 32 gallon uh, trash cans are still a little bit cool to the touch. If you look here, I have a little bit of uh, condensation. I made a video on how to stop that if you have wood floors in your greenhouse. And my plants are doing good. I'm ready to harvest some peppers. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.